Hi guys, happy Thursday. Today we are gonna be doing a advanced flexibility split, kind of contortion split session. Um, we will be going into an overextending split position and just working through various exercises which are gonna help you with your front splits. In the coming weeks, we will also focus on middle splits, on back bends, on chest stands, on lots of different contortion or advanced flexibility work. But I kind of want to just focus on one at a time just because it's a bit more intense on the body. And I want to keep the sessions fairly short and sweet so you know you can include them in your day. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not ready. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get on with the training. We're going to start with a little bit of a warm up just to get the body kind of moving and you know so when we go into the main body of flexibility we are already feeling warm. We're going to start with leg kicks. So first of all we're going to do leg kicks going forwards, actually using a bit of momentum going into that leg kick, not a static leg kick which is more for strength work. And then we're going to be doing leg kicks, bring that leg across the front of the body and to the side, again using momentum as we're going forwards and then out to the side. So we're going to do 10 on each leg in three, two, one, off we go. So legs swing backwards all the way forwards. Two, try and keep both legs straight. Three, four, and the body upright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other leg going forwards and backwards. One, two, three. Kick that leg as high as you can, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to do leg kicks going to the side, so leg coming across the body, ten on each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then the other side, 1, 2, got a slightly wobbly chair, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and relax, well done guys. Next we're going to go into our lunges. Today we're not going to do static lunges, we're actually going to do little bounces in the position. So as we go into our forwards lunge, we're going to be pushing that back hip down to the ground and we're going to do 10 little bounces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to come into a reverse low lunge, straightening that front leg, chest down towards the front leg. And we're going to do 10 little pulses. So bring your chest a little bit closer to the foot and the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're coming back into that forwards lunge, back leg is coming off the ground, straighten that back leg so we can leverage getting that hip a bit closer to the ground for a bit more of a stretch. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop that back knee down, come into a reverse high lunge, 10 pulses, chest coming down towards that front leg. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, nine, ten, and we're going to change to the other side and do exactly the same. So make sure to begin with the hips are square, first lunge position, ten pulses, back hip down to the ground, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, reverse low lunge, chest down towards the front leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Forwards position, back leg off the ground. Try and really get that hip as low down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming to our reverse side lunge, straightening both legs, chest down towards the front leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So we're going to come back to that first leg. The first lunge position, hips square, and we're going to slide down the splits on this leg. So we're going to do a normal split to begin with, then we're going to start to do some needle kicks, then we're going to elevate the leg and do it. 
elevated split position. So to begin with, hips nice and square, shoulders square, and if that position is feeling comfortable, I want you to lean forward in this position. I'm just going to hold this for 20 seconds. And you can flex the front foot if that's feeling quite easy. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And we're going to come out of that position and we're going to change sides. We will be doing a longer split later in the session. So again, hips nice and square, sliding into that split position, keeping the hips square the whole time. And then you've got the option, you can lean the chest forwards or stay sitting, seating, <laughs> stay sat upright. <laughs> really make sure that hip is rotating forwards. And you can flex the foot for the last 10. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to come out of that position. So next we're going to go straight into our needle kicks. If you did, I think it was yesterday's session, it might be the day before, we did do needle kicks in one of the sessions. <laughs> so you will probably be familiar with what that is. Um, obviously this is an advanced flexibility session, so your needle kick should be slightly better than if you're just doing the handstand session. So we're going to do 10 kicks all the way up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you're going to change sides. So ten kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And then we are going to come against the wall and we're going to do a needle position against the wall. So what you're going to do for this is your front leg is going to be slightly away from the wall. The closer it is to the wall, the easier it normally makes it. And then your back leg's lifting up as if you were coming into a needle position. You might want to just hop your foot back a little bit. And then we're going to do 10 little pulses in this needle position. So as you're doing the pulses, you're trying to drive your body into the wall behind you and you should feel that stretching behind the back hamstring of the leg on the ground. So we're doing one, two, three. You want both legs to be straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're going to hold this position. And what we're going to do now is you're going to do 10 lifts, trying to lift that back foot off the, off the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to change sides. Exactly the same on the other leg. Get as close or as far away from the wall if you want a bit more of a stretch. Ten pulses into the wall. One, two, three, four, five, nice and gently, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to do ten lifts off the back wall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming away from the wall. Before we go back into our split position, we're going to do a little bit of PNF stretching on our back. So you're going to lay your back. One leg is going to be in the air, the other leg is going to be straight on the ground. You want to make sure you're keeping your hips straight on the floor and your back is pushed into the ground. You're pulling your leg back as far as you can. When you get to that point and you can feel a stretch, what you're going to do is you're going to resist into the hands for five seconds, four, three, two, one, and then you're going to pull the leg a little bit further back and do the same again. So we're going to do three lots of resistance in each side, on each side, and then the last one we're going to hold for 10 seconds. So let's make a start with the left leg up in the air. So you get the leg as far back as you can, put a little bit of a stretch, and then you want to start to resist into the hands for five, four, 
three, two, one. Pull the leg a little bit further back and we're going to get, go again with the resistance into the hands for five, four, three, two, one. Relax one more time. Leg further back, resistance to the hands for five, four, three, two, one. Pull the leg a little bit further back and hold that position. Make sure the hips are staying on the ground, the legs are staying straight. We've got 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently lower that leg down, and then changing to the other side. So right leg in the air, pull as far back as feels comfortable, slight stretch behind the leg, and then let's start with the resistance for five, four, three, two, one. Good, pull the leg a little bit further back, and let's go again, resist for five, Four. You might feel a bit of a shake, if you can feel it stretching, that's fine. Two, one, and then one more time, leg a bit further back, and resist for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lowering that leg all the way down to the ground, give the legs a bit of a shake up. And we are ready for our elevated split position. So for this, you want a surface which is slightly raised, depending on your ability, like you might be able to go one yoga block, you might go a couple of yoga blocks, you might go a chair. You to feel a bit of a stretch, but not so much that it ends up, you know, causing any kind of injury. Um, you just want it to be a little bit more advanced than what you'd do on the floor. So I'm going to go for a little box because I don't have that much equipment in my room, as you guys can probably see. Um, so this is probably going to be about the best height that I have got. And I just put a little foam thing on top, so it's a bit more comfortable on my heel. And again, we're going to start with the hips square in this position, and then we're going to slide down to splits. And we're just going to hold this position for about 30 seconds. So as I said, you want to feel a bit of a stretch. I can feel a bit of a stretch behind the back of the hamstring. Um, obviously, you can get a little bit higher, a little bit lower. And if you find that it's you know, quite difficult to maintain that position, you might want to get a couple of yoga blocks, and you can rest your hands on the yoga blocks. So just make sure those hips are square, as I said. When we're in this position, if that feels quite comfortable, then again, you've got the option to lean forwards. You've got the option to lean backwards. The only thing I'd suggest if you're leaning backwards is that you've already warmed up your back because you didn't end up injuring yourself from not having warmed that up. So I'm just gonna stay in an upright position for now. And we're gonna go for another 10, nine, eight. If you want to hold this position longer, then obviously just pause the video and you can do that. Five, four, three, two, one, and coming out of that position, we're gonna to change to the other side. I would suggest in these over split positions, holding each position for about 30 seconds to a minute long. So hips square again, sliding all the way down to splits or as close down, like some of you guys might be up here. And as I said, that's when you might want something to rest on with your hands, just so it feels a bit more comfortable. Some of you might be all the way down, but the main focus is to keep the hips forwards in line with the wall in front of you and the whole time you know you're trying to maintain that good posture that good positioning so we're going for a total of 30 seconds you want to you know lean that chest forwards lean that chest backwards and we've got another 15 13 11 and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two, one, and coming out of that position. So we're not done with our split positions quite yet. What we're gonna do next is we're just gonna lightly warm up back and we're gonna go back into a normal split on the floor. This should feel relatively easy after we've just done the overextended split position. And what we're gonna do in the split position is we're gonna go forwards and backwards once we've warmed the back up. We're just gonna start with cat cow, so on your hands and knees. Lowering the lumbar spine down to the ground, lifting the thoracic spine up to the ceiling, and then just working through those two movements. So we do five in total, another three, two, and last one. Good. And then we're going to come into a cobra position. These two positions are the two things I always do for back flexibility. So we're Driving up either onto full extension of the arms or we can go into just elbows. I'm just going to hold that position 
So you drive the chest back, so there's a little, little bit of a stretch in that position, and then we're going to come into a child's pose, reverse cobra sitting back on the heels, just lowering the body down to the ground, which will be nice and relaxing this position. And then coming back forwards, we're going to do the same again. As I said, we're not actually doing a back bend session today. We will probably do that next week, full back bend session, and work a bit more on that. And then coming back into a reverse cobra, just down towards the ground. And relax. So we're going to go back into our split position on the ground. Again, hips nice and square, sliding down to that left leg split position. And in this position, we're going to do 10 leaning forwards, going back, leaning forwards, going back. So obviously, if you want to, you can get all the way back. You need to wear feels comfortable. You can bring your head going back. I don't really like doing that because it, it, I feel like it causes a bit of neck discomfort. Um, so I'm just going to do 10 leans, going forwards and backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. So this is actually quite a nice exercise for preparation of knee lift scale standing up. After that, what we're going to do now is we're going to do an exercise where we're really facing on quad strength. So in this split position, I want you to squeeze the front quad as hard as you can. And with the aim of that, we want to try and elevate the front foot off the ground. And we're going to hold this for 20 seconds for changing leg. So this is a really good leg exercise, leg strengthening exercise. I think a lot of people miss out when they're doing any kind of flexibility or any kind of handstand work, the fact that you do really need to focus on these leg extension exercises, just so you make your alignment very beautiful. <laughs> and we've got 10, keep lifting that foot off the ground, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, coming out of that position. And we're going to go straight into the other side, so exactly the same again, forwards, backwards, hips square, sliding into position, and then from here, leaning chest forwards and backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. And then sitting into that split position, we're trying to elevate the front foot off the ground, squeezing the quad as hard as we can for 20 seconds. And 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and coming out of that position. So guys, that is going to conclude today's session, quite a short, sweet session, just focusing on splits. As I said, we will be moving on to other things in these advanced flexibility contortion sessions. So we will be doing middle split work, we will do, be doing like more contortion skills, and obviously back bends, chest stands, all of that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed today, and I look forward to seeing you for tomorrow's video. Have an amazing rest of your day, and bye guys!